Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Sarap Sundays, where I take you through the Sarap or delicious food of the Philippines. Today we're making the national dish of the Philippines, chicken adobo. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you know that the first episode of Sarap Sundays, I actually made my mom's chicken adobo. But this time around, we are going to be using our handy dandy slow cooker <laughs> to make the easiest chicken adobo possible. This recipe is foolproof. All you have to do is pretty much dump the ingredients into your slow cooker, turn it on, and four hours later, your house will be smelling amazing and you'll be feasting on super tender, super delicious chicken adobo. So first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna crush up some garlic. I'm going to use six cloves of garlic and you just wanna crush them and throw it straight into the bottom of your slow cooker. Make sure you crush them up so that'll allow the flavor to really permeate into your marinade. Another key ingredient, which is whole black peppercorns. So this is about a teaspoon and just dump that. Next we have bay leaves. Today I'm going to use two. Um, sometimes I only use one, sometimes I use three. It kind of is up to personal preference. I'm using about a pound and a half of chicken. And today I'm going to be using a mixture of drumsticks and chicken breasts. And the reason for this is that I just had extra chicken breast that I needed to cook. But also the great thing about making slow cooker chicken adobo is that you can use less oil and ultimately make it healthier. Normally when you make chicken adobo, you want to pan fry your chicken with skin on in oil. You know, if you are trying to watch your weight or whatever it is, it does add an extra amount of calories and fat. And so the chicken breast, because it's leaner, it will kind of offset that. But because we're also using chicken drumsticks, it'll add more flavor and add a little bit of the fat that the chicken breast is lacking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place these, this chicken into the slow cooker. And the great thing about the slow cooker is that you can make a lot at one time and you can always freeze the leftovers. It freezes and reheats really nicely. And making a lot is great too because chicken adobo, the flavors actually develop even more. Like the next day of chicken adobo is honestly even better than when you first cook it. You could definitely fill your slow cooker up with a lot more chicken and just make sure you double or triple the proportions of the recipe. I'm just using this amount because this is how much I have. So now the final key ingredients are soy sauce, vinegar, and sugar. I'm using these Filipino brands of soy sauce and vinegar. So you can find these on Amazon or if you have a local Asian supermarket or even a Filipino market, they'll definitely have these. But if you don't have access, you can always use what's on hand. So a low sodium Kikoman works great. Um, you can use white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, whatever you'd like. It just won't taste as authentic as a typical Filipino chicken adobo where you use these. So I'm gonna pour in half a cup of silver swan. Half a cup. So basically you just use your measuring cup and make it, oh I have exactly half a cup. So now we have those mixed together in our measuring cup. Then we're gonna add to that a tablespoon of granulated sugar. So just dump that in, give it a mix. Get that nice and dissolved. And now we're going to take our soy sauce vinegar sugar mixture and just pour it right over all the chicken and make sure that I coat each one. Now that our chicken is in, I usually just take a crock pot and kind of turn it side by side just to evenly distribute marinade. All right, so now that everything's in, we are going to cover it and we are going to turn it to high for four hours and that's it no need to sit over a hot stove no need to watch your chicken i think it's nap time so i'll see you guys in four hours I didn't actually take a nap. Uh, the great thing about doing a slow cooker, you can nap. In my case, I worked out, I showered, I filmed another video. I actually literally just changed my shirt to come back to do this one. But our chicken adobo is ready and I'm very excited to take a look. So let's open it up. Ooh, let that steam out. 
and wow, I mean this. <laughs> Oh, it smells like childhood for me. So when there was an hour left, I did flip over the chicken. And the reason for this is that I don't want to use too much soy sauce and vinegar um, in order to get the flavor, but I do want both sides of the chicken to really be dark brown and have all that color and flavor. And you want to do that quickly to make sure you don't uh, impact the cooking time too much. So I already have my plate of perfectly cooked white rice. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Take a piece of chicken, drumstick, oh man, and a chicken breast. So for the purposes of the photo, this is not gonna be a single serving. This is gonna be quite loaded. And we're gonna take some of that sauce and just pour it over the rice. So here we have our slow cooker chicken adobo. All right, so let's try it. Filipino food, all you need is a spoon and fork. Take a look at this meat. Oh, wow. It just comes right apart. The meat on the bone will literally just come right off. <laughs> that is how tender it gets in the slow cooker. So I'm gonna, wow, I mean, Look at that. So like I said, I, I did a mixture of dark meat and white meat here. That way the fat from the drumstick and the flavor from the bone would help add some more flavor to the white breast meat. And let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh yeah. That is, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Just so satisfying. And again, yep. the sauce is just what takes it all to the next level. It's just so good. And so freaking easy. Mmm. Carl, you just figured out this delicious chicken on the table. So give it a try at home. If you don't have a slow cooker, you can check out my other video where I make it on the stove top. Either way, you're going to have a delicious taste of the Philippines right in your home. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for more episodes of Sarap Sundays. Ingat!